not many months had passed by her marriage and she was already feeling low on the excitement of her new life the romantic feelings were slowly fading away there was something wrong and that wrong was this she could see what she was giving to the marriage but kept herself naive of his contributions she kept a score of her sacrifices but forgot to count his compromises and so she felt used but not loved and the relationship was getting difficult and more difficult it is not uncommon for couples to feel this emptiness just weeks after marriage and as relationship experts say this bleakness occurs because the emotional need of the spouses to feel loved is not fulfilled and it finally results in unhappy bitter marriages and who wants to live like that so today i have for you some expert advice on how you can create the lasting in love environment in your marriage where both spouses are emotionally fulfilled we'll discuss how you can meet your partner's need to feel loved and also how you can give yourself the satisfaction that you are genuinely loved by your mate alhamdulillah there's a lot you can do and it's easier than you think but first i want to ask you this what is that which makes you fall in love with someone what is that which kindles your love what is the key to anyone's heart the first key is admiration you fall in love when you admire a person when you consider the person worthy of being respected and thus liked desired and loved you also fall in love when you like the way they make you feel about yourself you just feel good around them isn't this true and this is exactly what you have to do in your marriage first nurture your fondness and admiration of each other second make each other feel desired valued and honored build that emotional connection which makes your spouse experience your love and you too have to learn to notice and feel his love what this means is you have to master the art of effectively communicating love and one way to do all this is to use words you can do it with simple straightforward talk just look for your spouse's strengths and good qualities An easy way to do this is to try and complete this sentence. I appreciate or cherish blank in my spouse. Complete this sentence and then think about one or two incidents where he displayed this good quality. And then talk about it. Praise him for it. Compliments are very powerful communicators of love and admiration. Although sometimes you might be overwhelmed by your partner's negative characteristics. especially if you are stressed out or you aren't having a good day but just remember he is a human and there are no perfect spouses so be realistic rid yourself from all negativity and set focus on what you cherish in him and give praise when you do this you fulfill the two essentials of falling in love when you praise you are expressing how much you appreciate your spouse You are communicating love and you make him feel valued, desired and honored thus making him feel good and keeping him emotionally fulfilled. And at the same time when you praise you are also reminding yourself what a great spouse you have what a blessing he is in your life and how valuable he is to you. And thus you are nurturing admiration and fondness for him. and this will intensify and heighten your love for him the challenge is to notice his subtle little gestures of concern for you and remind yourself that he does indeed care for you this will keep you emotionally fulfilled as well and this emotional fulfillment of both spouses is very crucial to your marriage to keep it alive and healthy functional and strong in the long run especially during times of disagreements and disputes because the more the spouses are emotionally fulfilled 
the more they value and respect each other, the less likely they are to act disrespectful and rude in an argument. So keep your eyes on the prize and praise your spouse today, directly and indirectly. Praise him to his parents. Tell your kids how great their father is. Saying positive things about him must become a habit. Because when you stop praising, you ignore the good. Criticism takes over and you become ungrateful. And it is so easy, so easy, my dear sister, to fall into ungratefulness, especially for us women. There is a hadith in which Allah's Messenger wasallam, said that the majority of people in hellfire will be women. Why is that, O Messenger of Allah? Two of the reasons he mentioned, you complain too much and are ungrateful to your husbands. He explained, if you are kind to her for a lifetime and she sees one undesirable thing in you, she will say, I never had anything good from you. If we just take a look at how we generally respond to our spouse's shortcomings, we will realize how remarkably true are these words of Allah's Messenger. Because we have a tendency to ignore the good and set focus on what's wrong with our spouses. If nothing else, just remember his commitments to you. He is working day after day to provide for you since the moment you stepped foot into his house. And he has accepted to shoulder this responsibility for the rest of his life. And he is constantly planning and saving for your better future. Now let me pause here and make myself clear. I am not saying that husbands never show ungratefulness or that wives are always ungrateful or that a wife should never complain about her husband. No. All I am saying is that we need to take advice from this hadith of Allah's Messenger and be more mindful about our partner's contributions to the marriage and be more conscious and careful about our words, especially when disappointed. And I wouldn't end this without wanting the husbands to appreciate the efforts a new bride makes when she steps into your life. It's a drastic shift for her. From a carefree life in her parents' house to a life where new challenges await. New people to deal with, especially if she is to live in a joint family. A new lifestyle to fit in. Daunting responsibilities of a married life. And if she is working, that adds to the pressure. But bravely enough, she takes on the challenge. All of this just to make the marriage work peacefully. So each spouse must, at the very least, notice and appreciate the hard work and loving efforts coming from the other in making the marriage work. And let each other know that they are valued. The efforts they put in are appreciated and they are loved, cherished and cared for in this new phase of their life. And that's what we learn to do in the next episode. You learn different ways to express and say to your spouse, you're always on my heart. Until then, don't forget to praise your spouse and compliment him. And remember, romance is not found in candlelight dinners alone. There is love, affection and romance hidden in those everyday activities, waiting for you to feel it. I am your sister, Shawana Abdulaziz, and this has been the very first episode of How to Make Your Dream Muslim Marriage a Reality. Did you like this video? Then share it with your friends and help me spread the joy of living the dream Muslim marriage amongst a fellow striving Muslimas. Don't miss the next episode. Subscribe now to the Pure Matrimony YouTube channel and the Striving Muslima YouTube channel to stay updated. See you in the next clip.